Hello everyone, now let us discuss about ENM table. Now, before going into the ENM table, let us know the three key elements or components of MDM. MDM is nothing but medical decision making. It is the governing factor which is employed for the code selection of particular ENM service. So, in order to select a particular level of MDM, you need to take into consideration three key points or three key elements. They are the first one is number and complexity of problems that are addressed during the encounter. The number and the complexity of problems that are addressed during the encounter. Next is amount and complexity of data to be reviewed and analyzed. Finally, risk of complications, morbidity and or mortality of the patient management decisions that are made at the visit. So, the three key elements of MDM are first one is number and complexity of problems. Next is amount of data to be reviewed. Finally, risk of morbidity and mortality. Now, coming to levels of MDM, it can be straightforward, low, moderate or high. And important point is in order to qualify for a particular level of MDM, two of the three elements, we have previously discussed the three elements, Two of the three elements for that level of MDM must be met or exceeded. Two of the three elements for that particular level of MDM must be met or exceeded. Now, for straightforward level of MDM, you need to take into consideration all these points, all these three key components. The first one is number and complexity of problems addressed at the encounter must be minimal. For straightforward MDM, problems must be minimal. That is a self-limited problem. And amount and complexity of data to be reviewed, that must be minimal or none. And risk of complications of morbidity and mortality should be of minimal risk. For straightforward MDM, it should be minimal, minimal and minimal risk. Number one, complexity of problems must be minimal, amount of data should be minimal and risk should be minimal. Now coming to low level of MDM. For low, the number and complexity of problems addressed at the encounter must be low, which can be two or more self-limited or minor problems. It can be two or more self-limited or minor problems or one stable chronic illness that is well controlled hypertension or well controlled diabetes cataract or bph that is benign prostatic hypoplasia like that one stable chronic condition two or more self limited or minor problems or one acute uncomplicated illness or injury it can be cystitis allergic rhinitis or simple sprain or one stable acute illness or one acute uncomplicated injury requiring hospital inpatient or observation level of care. In any of these cases, the level of MDM according to number and complexity of problems addressed will be low. The second governing factor is amount and data to be reviewed. And for low level of MDM, it must be limited. That is, it must meet the requirement of at least one out of two categories. For amount and complexity of data, there are three categories that you can see in the medical decision making video. So, for limited data to be reviewed, for the limited amount and complexity of data to be reviewed, it must meet the requirement of one out of two categories. What are the two, two categories? The first category is test and documents. From category one, any combination of two from the following must be met. For low level of MDM, any combination of two from the following must be met. From category one, either of the category must be met for limited. So two points can be the first one is review of prior external notes from each unique source or review of the result of each unique test or ordering of each unique test. 
order of the test includes review of results so ordering a unit test unit test ordering any unit test it comprises of two or three of the following whenever you order a test you order a test and you review the result and sometimes you may review the prior notes also so that can be two out of three so whenever one test is ordered two from the following are met minimum of two from the following are met so whenever one order is done and if the patient has a stable chronic illness then you can simply go for low level of mdm and the risk of morbidity from the additional diagnostic testing or treatment must be low it must be of low risk in order to go low level of mdm risk must be low so from category 1 tests and documents any two out of the following must be met of these three the first one is review of prior external notes from each unique source review of the result of each unique test and ordering of each unique test or category 2 can be met category 2 means assessment requiring an independent historian so two out of three from category 1 or simply category 2 whenever they meet you can quote low level of mdm now coming to moderate level of mdm in order to moderate level of mdm according to number and complexity of problems addressed at the encounter they can be any of the following categories that are covered given by bullets one or more chronic illness with exacerbation progression or side effects of treatment for example elevated blood pressure or uncontrolled diabetes mellitus that is exacerbation or exacerbated copd asthma in such case it will go moderate or if the patient is suffering from side effects of the treatment for example any adverse effect of a prescription drug ac inhibitors they cause cough and drug is discontinued in such case also it becomes moderate so one or more chronic illness with exacerbation progression or side effects of treatment second case two or more stable chronic illnesses controlled hypertension and controlled dm in that case also it will become moderate because two or more stable chronic illnesses next is one undiagnosed new problem with uncertain prognosis for example any lump in the breast and the diagnosis is not progress uh, not prognosis that is it is not diagnosed whether it is benign or malignant it is a undiagnosed new problem that also becomes moderate the next is one acute illness with systemic symptoms that is pyelonephritis pneumonitis or colitis next one acute complicated injury that is head injury with brief loss of constant consciousness all these things they can contribute to moderate level of mdm now coming to the amount and complexity of data to be reviewed it must be moderate for moderate level of mdm amount and complexity of data to be reviewed must be moderate that is it must meet the requirement of at least one out of the three categories so from category 1 which contributes tests and documents any combination of 3 previously it was 2 for low it is 2 and for moderate it is any combination of 3 from the following review of prior external note review of result of each unique test review of prior external note from each unique source and review of result of each unique test ordering of each unique test and assessment requiring an independent historian from this four points three must be met in order to quote moderate and one out of the three categories either three points from category 1 or simply category 2 that is independent interpretation of tests performed by another physician or other qualified healthcare professional independent interpretation of tests performed by another physician or other qualified health care professional whenever that is done it comes to moderate or discussion of management of test interpretation with external physician or other qualified health care professional or appropriate source discussion of management and independent interpretation both can contribute to moderate level 
now coming to risk of complication and or morbidity or mortality of patient management it can be prescription drug whenever prescription prescription drug management is done or whenever decision regarding minor surgery decision regarding minor surgery with identified patient or procedure risk factors that also contributes for moderate level next is decision regarding elective major surgery without identified patient or pro procedure risk factors it can be elective major surgery or decision for minor surgery with identified risk factors elective major surgery without identified risk factors fract factors next is diagnosis of or treatment significantly limited by social determinants of health diagnosis or treatment significantly limited by social determinants of health social determinants can be illiteracy poverty like that you have detailed explanation in the mdm video so diagnosis or treatment significantly limited by social determinants of health will also contribute to moderate level of mdm please note that point coming to high level of mdm for high level the problems can be one or more chronic illness with severe exacerbation progression or side effects of treatment that significant the risk of morbidity and may require hospitalization in that case high level can be contributed second is one acute or chronic or injury that poses a threat to life or bodily function for example acute myocardial infraction pulmonary embolus severe respiratory distress or progressive severe rheumatoid arthritis psychiatric illness with potential threat to self or others all these examples can contribute to high level of mdm and amount and data to be reviewed it must be high in order to quote high level it must be high that is must meet the requirement of at least two out of three category must meet the requirement of two out of three category any of the two categories must be met from category 1 any combination of three from the following it can be review of prior external note from each unique source or review of result of each unique test or ordering of each unique test for example order of test includes the review of results or assessment requiring an independent historian three from these four points or and and category 2 or category 3 must be met in order to quote high level of mdm category 2 is nothing but independent interpretation of test performed by another physician or other qualified healthcare professional not separately reported third is category 3 is discussion of management of of test interpretation with external physician discussion of management with external physician or other qualified healthcare professional either category 2 and 3 or category 3 and 1 or 2 and 1 or 1 and 3 any of the two categories out of three must be met in order to quote high level of mdm and for selection of a particular level of mdm two out of three elements must be met it can be number of problems and amount and amount of data or amount of data and risk or risk and number of problem any of the two elements must be fulfilled in order to select a particular level of mdm that is an important point now coming to risk of complication and morbidity and mortality of patient management for high level mdm drug therapy requiring intensive monitoring of toxicity whenever the patient is under drug therapy which requires intensive monitoring of toxicity that can contribute to high level of mdm or decision regarding elective major surgery with identified patient or procedure risk factors major surgery with identified risk factors or decision regarding emergency major surgery or decision regarding hospitalization that requires a hospital inpatient level of care or observation care or decision not to resuscitate or to deescalate care because of poor prognosis and parenteral controlled substances 
management by parental controlled substances. All these cases, they contribute to high level of MDM. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.